Hey, what is up guys, it's Dr. Sammy, and today we're gonna talk about shade guides and also take a look into how optoelectric devices can help you master shade selection. Now before we talk about how to use these shade devices, we need to talk a little bit about color science. As most of you know, color can be broken down into three main components, hue, chroma, and value. Hue represents the specific wavelength or color of the tooth. It lets us know whether our patient's teeth have yellow, orange, or brown components that give the tooth its unique characteristic. Chroma represents the intensity of that color. Uh, for example, the color red from a fire hydrant has a way higher chroma than that from a red brick home. Both are the color red, but one is way more saturated than the other. Finally, value represents the relative lightness or darkness of a color. It's actually the most important component when selecting shade, so take time to get the value right. Now, there are a variety of shade systems out there to help you accurately match the shade of the patient's teeth to that of your restorations. Today, we're gonna to talk about three main systems, the classical shade guide system, the 3D shade master, and the more advanced optoelectric device. And later in the video, I'll talk about some other variables that can influence your shade selection. So I would bet that most dentists watching this video are very familiar with the classical shade guide system. And the way the system works is relatively easy. You simply place the shade tabs along the same plane as a patient's natural teeth. You run it across until you find three shade tabs that are the closest match, pull out those tabs, and eliminate them one by one until you find the closest matching shade. So after selecting the closest matching shade, you wanna take that shade tab, put it in the same plane as the patient's natural teeth, snap a photo, ideally with a DSLR camera, and then communicate that shade to the dental laboratory you're working with. You know, this is critical, especially in the anterior aesthetic zone, because if you have a shade that's a little bit off, um, your restoration isn't gonna look as natural as possible. Now, there are a few newer systems out there that have organized the shade tabs in a more predictable way. And one of them is the 3D Shade Master. Immediately, you can tell the difference between the two. Much more variation in shade tabs, and it's organized in a variety of groups. For this system, you wanna first select the group that has the closest value to the patient's tooth. After, you're gonna scroll down through the rows and select the closest matching chroma. Once you do that, you'll move either left or right to pick a shade that has more reddish hue or a more yellow hue. So both systems I reviewed rely on the human eye to select shades, but we have to remember that the human eye can be tricked into selecting inaccurate shades if we're not in the ideal environment. Ideally, we should be in an operatory with color corrected light at 5500 Kelvin, uh, with neutral color toned walls. We should avoid highly contrasted items uh, close to where we're selecting shade, like the patient bib or, or even red lipstick can influence our shade detecting abilities. We should also be selecting shade relatively quickly because our rods and cones can fatigue if we're staring at the shade tabs um, for too long a period of time. And there's a bunch of other factors that can influence shade. I'll include a list somewhere to the left or right of me and feel free to pause the video and review the list. Because there's so many other variables to consider, I decided to invest in an optoelectric device. So this is the Vita Easy Shade. I use this every day in my practice and it's helped me be more accurate with shade selection. Now there are a lot of ways to use this device. You can use it as a single point system to select the overall shade of a tooth. You can do a multi-point system, which will measure the shade from three different areas, gingival body and incisal edge. Um, you can check the shade of a crown. They also have a newer system out there called the Vita Easy Shade 5, which has a bunch of other uh, features that are pretty incredible. But for the purposes of today's video, I just wanna show you how I use this device and how it helps me select shade. So the first thing you do is calibrate the device. And after calibration, you place the tip of the device flush to the surface of the tooth that you're selecting the shade. Um, you click this button. It'll give you a few beeps. 
And then after it gives you the few beeps, it will give you the shade on this little uh, monitor towards the back. It can give you the shade uh, from the classical shade guy system, and it will also give you the shade from the 3D Shade Master system. I do not use this device by itself. It's meant to be used as a supplement with the classical shade guy system, or that's how I use it, because sometimes the shade is a little bit off, 90% of the time it's accurate and it also helps me guide uh, which shade tab I should be selecting. And then of course after I'm done, I take the photo with the DSLR camera and then I send that image to the lab. You know, selecting shade is really important. In fact, one of the most common reasons for a laboratory remake is inaccurate shade selection. So take some time to master the shade selection process. Um, we're all trying to make uh, our restorations look as natural as possible and it'll also help you from dealing with the nuances of reappointing patients for um, shade selection and wasting uh, patient chair time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was uh, a pleasure for me to make. Um, the next video will probably be a Surgitel uh, review video or I will review the new uh, TriAuto ZX2 which is a rotary device that I just recently got. If you guys have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. If you have any new video ideas, I'm always open to suggestions, um, anything to um, provide value to uh, the subscribers. Thank you so much and uh, enjoy your day.